Hello there and welcome to the race in Emilio Magna Mola. The Mola race, sorry. Um, we had a dreadful qualifying, 19th to 20th. We messed up uh, the car setup for Piastri. But we're going to do the same strategy we usually do. A one stop where, you know, applicable. As the sun continues to shine. And with that in mind, the let's go. The crowd are on their feet in anticipation of this. The Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. And once again, it's another one of those races that aren't important for us. So we'll do most at 16 times. Again, it's just five or six last races of the season that we're going to do anything different with. So for the time being, we're just going to power through. I think Honestly here, yeah, I should probably allow Leclerc and has crashed. Copy. Yellow head, yellow head. Copy. Up into Charles' chair. Let's take a look at the replay. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Locked up into the wall. Terrible. Yep. Basically what you expected around this track. I am wondering if I should allow Duhan and Piastri to pull a little bit further back. Just so we can get some overtakes and thus get some free development. Uh, we can go ahead and push some fuel here, at least for Duhan. And we'll see if he can overtake one of them with it. DRS is currently disabled. We have a safety car. DRS is currently disabled. Uh, we do not want to pit on this. Yeah, it's a safety car. Well, do we? Honestly, I don't think it matters since we're last anyways. Like, uh, Leclerc will run past us. So we're going to do a small change to the strategy. We're going to put on some new mediums. The reason for this is actually fairly straightforward. It allows to run more aggressive setups on the, uh, on the car. But since we have since we are going to be breaking our strategy here, we're going to have to change it after they pitted because it will, again, break the strategy. Apparently Verstappen is out. What happened to him? Did I miss the Verstappen thing, maybe? I think I did. So, uh, strategy view. Here we go. So as you can see, we currently are missing the last stint of our strategy, so we're going to add a hard stint. We are going to do this, we're going to burn the tires. And I think this is fine, and then we can burn the hard tires as well. Put the Astrian strategy A, and we'll do the same for Duhan. Sadly, there isn't a, you know, copy strategy button. If, if there is, I'm blind, haven't seen it, so I apologize in advance. I will just do it like this. Let's see, reports. No, sorry, uh, events. There we go. We had a safety car, the rest disabled. Sadly, it doesn't let list crashes, so. I have no idea what happened to Verstappen. It's my bad for not paying uh, attention. My apologies. Are in this lap. So we can try and do Probably. something funny here since the whole field is bunched up. Um, most people did not go in for pits, to the pits as you can see, it's just uh, the back runners here. Then again, the time degradation isn't that bad for these guys, so we're basically going to be pitting on the same laps, so it doesn't really matter. But we will try and make up some ground here and see if we can attach ourselves onto a DRS train in front of where we usually are. Um, We'll have to just try here. Once the RS becomes enabled, we'll uh, back off a bit. And actually, we'll just do that right now. And there's an overtake from Williams. The RS enabled. Yes, there's overtaking Stroll, which is all right. With this, we are once again just stuck in a DRS stream. We'll see how far we can hold on. At least as long as Vettel is the one in charge, we should be able to hold on for a bit. And since we have Piastri as kind of a buffer here, we're going to allow Duhan to 
harvest a little bit of DRS. Sorry, ERS. I keep on getting those two mixed up. You one actually completely fell off. That's a bit problematic. But he can just latch onto signs there. He could not. <laughs> Again, not too surprising. We'll just allow the uh, race to run its course. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Happened a while ago. <laughs> Love to see how well we can potentially hold on to these positions. And a new position just gained by Williams. But uh, we'll have to consider if we maybe can jump someone in the pits or something like that. We're going to switch to aggressive. We're going to try and keep these tires going a little bit longer, just a tad bit longer. So let's put Duhan to aggressive. He'll run aggressive on his hards. Uh, do we want to pit him this lap? I think we do. Pit Duhan first. Let's go. He'll come out in the back, get some clean air to work with. Then we shall pit Piastri. Who's running wide there? Science has run wide. How far back did it fall? Just sixth. Yeah, the rest of the drivers will actually not for the most part. It's basically just Stroll and Vettel we might overtake. This the rest came in for hards. Well, let's put these two aggressive so we can make them last a little bit then. We don't really need to rush too hard. Maybe Schumacher, Vettel, Stroll, Cardo Norris. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll probably have way too long of an interval down to them. So yeah, we got the Aston Martin, but we didn't get the other car. Which is understandable. Oh, we have caught up to Tsunoda. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. Let's see what happened, what happened there. To him? Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. They've taken that far too... Okay, we ran wide and we got a position. We might also get a, a tow from him. But in this case, Piastri is towing him along. I actually get some underfloor damage, that's going to be expensive. I assume it is from just either hitting debris on track, although I don't know if that is a feature yet, uh, or just running over the curbs and being unlucky. Do I run wide? Didn't really cost him anything. We've just had a car run wide. Let's have a Here's look. the replay. Now we see the Williams here. Well, I don't know what they were thinking. Okay, that was very, very slight. Just barely on the gravel. So we got both uh, both of the Aston Martins during the pit stops. And Piastri has also got a Schumacher. So oh, that's good. Did someone run wide there? Uh, I'm kind of worried, though, because the underfloor is vital. But at the same time, it's not the upgraded one yet. So it's not super vital anymore right now. Should be alright. Also, Duhan is getting a tow from uh, Schumacher, so. Uh, yeah, currently things are looking pretty good. We're not doing too many overtakes for Sounds driver like development. Up. But in general, I'd say things are looking very, very good for us. Once we get three or four upgrades into the car, we'll start to reliably be able to Someone's fight for 15th wide. and above. So, yes, very promising. I'm very surprised to know that this Alpine is actually struggling to overtake Piastri. Piastri does have a shit setup, but uh, I've been told that the setup only matters for extra points. It doesn't actually give any benefits beyond that. Okay, so we're guaranteed decent position. 14th and 17th, not bad at all. So with that, um, again, I would like to know what happens to Verstappen on lap 12, but what you can do about that, it's my own fault. Um, post, okay, that was practice, not post-race. 
Yeah, I don't have a good way of checking that, sadly. Uh, the events don't go into detail about what happened. Just that it was a uh, safety car. But with that said, Sainz won. Uh, Charles Leclerc third. Sergio Perez second. And then we have the Mercedes as before with Fernando. Ferrari is <laughs> getting even stronger grip on the constructors. But yeah. That uh, will end it here. Thank you for watching this race, and I'll be with you on the next one. Again, thank you.